I actually think the Eagles are in a good spot here and let's get right into it because I think Patrick Mahomes is actually the one who should be feeling all the pressure in the world him and Andy Reid together I would say actually just the Chiefs in general should be feeling way more pressure in this Super Bowl than the Philadelphia Eagles uh, no why Okay. First of all, they have a, a, her quarterback. Where are the Chiefs going? They're a, a bunch more Super Bowls. There's no pressure on them. Okay. Patrick Mahomes is 27 years old. He's not at the end. This isn't a do or die situation. Okay, I'll tell you why. Because when Patrick Mahomes first came onto the scene here in the mm -hmm. NFL, he was really the one person who you could have said has a shot at Brady's record. Okay. Now, I don't know if anyone's going to reach the seven Super Bowls, but at least Mahomes is someone who has a shot because he had so much success early in his career. You thought, all right, if he stays on this trajectory even better, you know, he's someone who could who could maybe topple Brady. Well, what's happened since we started making some of those predictions? What started happening is Mahomes started getting two AFC championships and getting two Super Bowls, but he's not winning enough of them. Now, to match Brady, I'm saying, Brady, by the time he was 27, already had three under the belt. Mahomes has one. So that's where I, see. I think Mahomes starts to feel a little of, hey, everyone is projecting that I'm going to be this all-time great quarterback, and I am. But you look at the resume and the hardware right now, it's not even close to where yeah. Brady is. No, I see where this is going, yeah. where this is coming from. It's almost as if the team that you live and die for lost four Super Bowls in a row. <laughs> I'm and telling it you, scarred man. you. And it's almost, you'd rather your team not get there than lose another Super Bowl <laughs> like the Buffalo Bills. Here's the thing with Mahomes. Yeah, why they compare him to Brady is is very complicated. Brady did not win those first three Super Bowls alone. He did it as a team. In right. fact, he wasn't even the Tom Brady we know later in his career. I think people want to make it like Tom Brady was the key to all those Patriots wins. He was, of course, but he's a much different quarterback. Patrick Mahomes does things that Tom Brady doesn't. And he doesn't have nearly as good a team around him. He's a magician in a way Brady is not. Brady's efficient. Patrick Mahomes is a magician. So I don't think this is a fair comparison to say you have to win seven Super Bowls to beat Tom Brady. They're just different players. No, they are. But I would say that, first of all, Brady was way more out of nowhere than Patrick Mahomes is. I mean, I know Brady went to a bigger college program, maybe Michigan bigger than Texas Tech. Yeah, I Tech. don't know about that. But Brady being a sixth-round pick to Mahomes being a first-round pick, I mean, you know, Brady started as a backup. I know Mahomes did, too, to Alex Smith. But there was never a doubt that you know they were going to move to Mahomes in the second year as opposed to Brady who really got I won't say lucky to get on the field but if not for a Drew Bledsoe injury would not have gotten on the field. Right but so so you're saying Tom Brady's underdog status makes him a greater player or worse player no, or I'm it saying, makes it harder for Mahomes to chase him? No I well I think the seven Super Bowls is maybe one that will not be reached but Mahomes definitely came in with the bigger expectations I'm saying so he's mm. doing more. Brady was the game manager because it was like oh my gosh Drew Bledsoe was hurt Brady just has uh, to I like complete a couple passes here and there whereas Mahomes has to do more and I think this is another reason why he should have pressure on him or he does is that you know we had we saw Brady really have one major injury right the knee injury yeah. the year Matt Castle played they won 10 games but Mahomes is like nicked up you know he's oh, obviously yeah. playing with a high ankle sprain in the AFC championship game in the Super Bowl but like Mahomes has had not the big knock on wood for him not the big catastrophic injury but he's had like Little Lots things, things here and there, which means his shelf life. Is he going to play 23 seasons like Brady? I don't know if the way he well, plays, he's going to be able to have that kind of longevity. So if he wants to start stacking his resume against Brady, like you got to get but, going here. Well, why? Why are we putting pressure on Patrick Mahomes to catch Brady? What uh, last week it was Joe Burrow is the best quarterback in the NFL. We always want to exalt somebody, yeah. just like we everyone, and I'm sorry to bring this up, I know it's the most tired debate in sports, just like everyone wants to exalt LeBron past MJ. Yeah. They want to exalt Burrow past Mahomes, then Mahomes wins. Now we want to exalt Mahomes past Brady, saying he's already the GOAT. This is this obsession with making quarterbacks the greatest of all time is ridiculous. No one's near Tom Brady I know, at seven Super Bowls. But don't you think Mahomes is as close? They're not, and they don't play the same See, way. I think Mahomes, Mahomes is the only is, guy in the conversation who could become in the conversation with Brady, right? I at guess he's stage? the only guy right now, but listen, uh, LeBron came along after Jordan. There's, there'll be another guy who's similar to Brady. Mahomes is different. Mahomes is kind of a combo of Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. In fact, he's closer to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. And I hate to tell you this, Maggie, if the Eagles have their way, his career is going to play out like Aaron Rodgers, where there's so many great great quarterbacks who have one Super Bowl win, yep. then they get their big contract, then it's really hard to win another one. I know. Now, it's an incredible achievement that they keep getting the AFC title game. 
and that he's in another Super Bowl. He, they're definitely cut above. But isn't Mahomes' trajectory more like Peyton Manning or Aaron Rodgers than Tom Brady? Okay, but I'm glad you brought up Aaron Rodgers because what's the big thing that we talk about with Rodgers beyond, like, you know, some of the weirder aspects of his life, <laughs> you know, ayahuasca and whatever. But one of the things we talk about with Rodgers is how did he only win one or so far? Right. How has he only won one? And that's kind of where we're at with Mahomes right now. I know he's not 38 like Rodgers. He's got he's a decade. 27. I get it, but here's the thing. We thought as soon as Rodgers won that Super Bowl against the Pittsburgh Steelers, like, oh, they're just going to start yeah. rattling him off now. And what happened? It's harder, obviously, than people think. And now that's the Mahomes angle of it. Now you go to the Andy Reid angle of it. Now I know Andy Reid is going to be a Hall of Fame coach. Okay. With your Philadelphia Eagles, four NFC Championship yep. games, you know that, yep. goes to the Super Bowl, they lose to the Patriots. Now since he's been with Kansas City, five AFC Championship games, Three, this will be the third Super Bowl with him, one win and one loss. It's like even Andy Reid, who's got this incredible resume, still one Super Bowl win. I yeah. mean, again, he'll walk into the Hall of Fame, but don't you feel like if you said, hey, besides Bill Belichick, Andy Reid might be one of the best coaches we've ever had. Oh, how many Super Bowls do he have? One? It's like, yeah. that doesn't make sense. It's kind of like Sean Payton, kind of like Mike McCarthy. It's just a reality. No one's calling them the greatest, Wait, let's not compare. one of the greatest ever. Okay, it's unfair to compare Andy Reid to Chuck Knoll of the Steelers or Tom Landry. There was no or salary. Bill Walsh or There's no Bill salary Parcells. cap back in the day. Yeah. And Bill Walsh is a cut above all these guys. So I'm, that's not a fair comparison either. I think we all learn from Bill Walsh. So I think these, I think Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes are doing fine, and let's let them be who they are. I don't think there's this imminent pressure that they got to win or it's going to be a huge nick on their legacy. The other thing is Mahomes is 27. The team is fairly young. You know, they. How old is Kelsey's? Thirty-three. Kelsey's the one who. But the rest of the team is is pretty pretty young. He, you know, Tom Brady at twenty-seven got those three Super Bowls, then took a ten-year hiatus, yeah. and then started coming back. So I think Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, but, but pressure on him now is it seems unfair to me because his story we're only about a third in. But. I don't know. What does Mahomes look like in 10 years? Now, I like to think that the great quarterbacks will always find a way, right? Like, you're not going to play the same way you would mm -hmm. when you're 27 is when you're 37. And I'd like to believe that Mahomes can play another way, yeah. right? Can he? I have no idea. Yeah. Like, can he play in a manner where his his athleticism, if you know, as you get into your 30s, if that starts to fall off a little bit, you know, can he become like a pocket passer? Maybe. He's got an amazing arm. I'm not discounting it, but we haven't seen it. So we'll see on Sunday yeah. because he's not going to be able to run around and do Patrick Mahomes. He's not going to be able to spin backwards. I think he's going to be pretty good at the pocket. You know, obviously, I'm rooting for the Eagles, but I'm terrified of, of the Chiefs. I'm terrified of Mahomes. <laughs> I, I'm already we're working on our bets for the week. The over on Mahomes passing yards is calling me. I, I think <laughs> him in the pocket doing Andy Reid's offense, I think it's underrated how much success he has in the pocket. He's a great pocket quarterback. Now, you're right. I thought he was being way too aggressive in the game he got hurt. He was taking off again and again and again or just waiting till the end of a and end of the play to look for somebody. He does need to rein it in. I totally agree. But 27, Maggie. I, if you had to bet, say he doesn't win on Sunday. Yeah. If you had to bet, do you think he'll be back? Do you think he'll be closer to Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers and not win another one? Listen, I'm the one who said I thought he was going to be Michael Jordan-esque and sort of keep other guys wow. in the AFC from winning Super Bowls. Get out of but here. But I don't know about that now. Why does everyone have to be Mike, one. Why do we have to compare him to Michael Jordan? Why do we have to compare him to Tom Brady? Let uh, let Mahomes let Mahomes be Mahomes. This Michael Jordan. That's who we're comparing no, no, no. him to. I said in the way that he would keep other stars from in the AFC okay. from even getting to Super Bowls. Like yeah. I obviously know the Bengals went last year, but look at what and he's done now. He's kept the Burrow Bengals from a were, second one. The Bengals were four inches away from being back there again. Joe Burrow might be closer to Tom Brady. We don't even know. <laughs> they were a, they were a roughing the passer. Yes. You know, push out of bounds. Maybe That's, they would have been in this game. How they, about this? Yeah. We're wondering what kind of treatment maybe Patrick Mahomes could be getting on his high ankle sprain didn't have a lot of time mm. between the division round and the AFC championship game but now you have two weeks can I read something from Peter King's column today yes. about a treatment that Ryan Jensen the center for mm. the for the Bucks got in November he flew to the Caribbean island of Antigua to be injected with 150 million stem cells taken from the umbilical cords donated from term cesarean section births. That is super <laughs> gross. Is that a sentence you thought that I was going to utter today? No, I, I didn't really need all that detail. <laughs>
and that sounds really controversial as well and i don't want to step into that third rail of a topic but <laughs> no, step into it so wait do we know did did peter then say that patrick mahomes has gotten some sort of blood treatment no but i'm just saying if the center for the tampa bay bucks got this in november to try to come back yeah Mahomes, I don't know if he has to be doing some interesting treatment, but these kind of weird treatments are available to you. I wonder if he's, you know, going to try to get something, I don't know, uh, unorthodox before the before the Super Bowl. I got to tell you, uh, not many people are friends with the foremost foot and ankle doctor in the world, Dr. Rock Pastano. So Postano. lucky to have you here, Dr. Rock, my guy, my ankle fixer and yeah. spiritual mentor. Yeah told me that do not discount the impact of the high ankle sprain. Judging on the end of the game, it's not the scrambles. It's the ability to consistently plant on that foot, which could affect his throws. He said, he honestly said, I'd be very surprised if Patrick Mahomes doesn't feel the high ankle sprain at some points of the game. So that's a fact. It's going to be there, Maggie. You well, can't discount it. And Dr. Positano, when he joined us two weeks ago, was spot on about Mahomes was not going to get the ankle shot up. You don't do yes. painkillers with stuff like that. Well, what about the Super Bowl where you're not worried about it? No, but I think he said, like, you want to be able to feel essentially how much danger you could be putting your ankle in, you know? And so it's a tricky spot to get shot up. You and I, as lay people, just thought, ah, shoot up with painkillers. You'll be fine. That's not the case. Can I tell you what else happened to Jensen? Oh, <laughs> yes. Wait, does it get weirder than that? There's more. He was warned that the... 150 million stem cells taken from the umbilical cords donated from term cesarean section bursts. He was told it might feel cold because the stem cells were frozen in liquid nitrogen. Mm. So after the third and final IV bag was empty, he started shivering uncontrollably, 15 minutes wrapped in a heated blanket, making everything feel right. See, that's wow. the kind of all-in. That's the buy-in right there. Yeah, I mean, the players go in those cold baths <laughs> and the cryovac treatment that Antonio Brown froze his feet on. Yeah, right. Yeah, I get it. There's a lot you can do, but... You saw what happened in the AFC title game. Mahomes, by the end of the game, was limping. It hit him yeah. eventually. He was limping. Yeah, but he was also running for the sideline at full speed. Because he was going straight, which I can do with my ankle problem. I can run straight great. It's when you have to turn left or right, and we're the same thing. I actually talked with Dr. Wright. I said the same thing to Dr. Positano. I said, you know, it's funny. I don't feel any pain when I run straight. And he said, of course, it's a torque injury. <laughs> Maggie, it's a torque injury. Obviously it is.